Hey YouTube, Jesse here with The Wandering Manus channel, and today I'm here to give you another quick tip. This time it's a troubleshoot tip on a issue that you may experience where you're getting uh, seemingly air in your lines and you can't seem to get it out. Your water taps are just spurting and it's spurting from all your taps, not just one. So stand by, let's go ahead and get this tip. <music> So the issue that I had specifically was that uh, my water, when I hooked it up to either city line or on the actual pump, my water was spurting. It was like a pop, 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 pop spurting type uh, issue. And that occurred with all of my lines, not just one. Now, I know there is a, uh, a quick fix for if it's something coming, coming out of, say, just your sink, um, especially in RVs, and I'll show you in a minute, but uh, there is some quick fixes for that. But this was occurring throughout the RV. So any line I had, it was it was going as if there was air in the line. So I had already used the RV once at this point, and I did not have this issue. So I had to scour the internet uh, for about two hours to finally find uh, just one piece of information out there on the internet. So I wanted to share this with everybody on how this uh, uh, fix came about so that it maybe it'll help you in the future. I don't have any water, so I can't really show you replicate the problem right now. But what uh, it was doing, like I said, it was like spurting. It was like air. It wasn't getting a solid flow. It was just pop, 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 pop out of the sink. And this happened in the sink and the toilet or excuse me, the bathroom. It happened on the outside line. So it was not getting it was it seemingly like it had air in the, in the line. I know one quick fix that, that occurs is uh, most of the RV sinks have uh, this uh, filter system right here that you can actually screw off. Um, I haven't been able to break the seal on mine yet, but this will come off. And if you're having this with just one sink, it uh, seems to be the common tip is to take that off. Sometimes it's, you get like gunk and things in the filter and you just need to clean the filter off. And once you clean that filter off, you screw it back on, hey, you're good to go. But this was an issue that was occurring throughout the entire thing and the fix was incredibly quick. So if you follow my channel, you know I have a Rockwood GeoPro 19BH. But uh, this problem seems to work with any RV because the actual uh, person that had a fix, it was on a fifth wheel. So I don't think it really matters whether you have a smaller or larger RV. I think it just comes down to the, to the switch on the pump. But uh, in a 19BH, the manual does not tell you where it is, but it's going to be in this bottom left drawer underneath the uh, bed. Now, when I say in the drawer, it's actually behind it. So you'll have to pull it out and kind of weasel your way in there. So apparently standard in this unit, you have a switch here. The switch is gonna be either up or down. You'll see this little toggle switch on the left on the white hose here. That switch was actually facing the other way. I guess it's for winterization or something. But long story short, it wasn't all the way open or closed. So all I did was flip that switch and I was back up and running water filled into the pump and the filter there and it was good to go. I don't know why it did that, but it did. So just flip the switch and give it a whirl, I think that that will actually fix your problem. I wish I could say I did something miraculous and the fix was that much more complicated, but it really wasn't. So just go and find your actual water pump. There's gonna be a switch. And like I said, I think it's for winterization or something. I'm not too familiar with it right now. But long story short, I had to scour the internet. There was nothing on YouTube. I finally found some obscure post about it, like on Reddit somewhere deep. So I hope that if you are experiencing this issue, you can go ahead and get it fixed quick and get back to RVing. I really appreciate you watching my video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe for more tips and tricks, and also check out my other travel videos. Again, this is Jesse with The Wandering Mantis, signing off.